I didn't know how long those were and where I wanted to cut it so I just started doing it and uh, I'm liking it looks like two more and I'll have my wall it's gonna be unique and look pretty good too so that's it I'm uh, gonna put obviously some more uprights and then I'm gonna cut it off on a straight edge and then come out to the rest of the way just like that I think it's gonna look pretty good now I'm gonna put outside bracing at two three points on the other side and then link it over with the outside wall for strength but well it's coming along I'm getting sunburnt though it's pretty bad and I don't have sunscreen I didn't uh, plan on it this is the first time we've had warm weather really to, to consider this year that we've been home anyway I think, before I put the last one on, I think I'm going to hold off and uh, put a top board on all the way across as a, uh, like a ledge, or what do you call it, a resting ledge or something. Um, and then it'll be a smooth surface to lean our arms on. And then I'll piece in the next one and sort of overlap it over the bundle below it as needed. So I don't have this rough, sharp edge under our arms reaching into the garden. Well, for better or worse, that's how it's going to be. It's coming together.
They got flexible pallets, flexible boards, and bent poles, or warped pallets, warped poles, and more boards and everything else. So anyway, I'm gonna zip tie that on there so it's straight, so I can work better. Let's come along. I'm getting sunburned really bad, and I don't want to stop, so I made myself a shelter. I had Melanie come out and help me pull this tarp over. This thing is huge. I forgot how big that was. That makes a nice shelter for me to work in here out of the sun. So much better. It's noticeably cooler in here and I just set it up. So now I can work. I just don't want to quit yet, you know? This is my only day off. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to go in and take a break and drink some more. Then I'm going to get out here and continue on working on this. I started cutting the boards off and I ran through four batteries that were semi-drained with my Sawzall before I uh, had to take them all in. I'm running out of batteries that I can use on this project right now, so they're in charging. I'm going to go in and recharge. Um, I just temporarily put a screw on there so I had a straight edge and started cutting down. And I'm going to continue on when the battery's finished. And then I'll take that off, obviously, centered on there, and continue on, and I'll have this wall. But we're getting it. Getting the wall done. There's some mulch went in my foot. I'm using my junk shoes for this because they breathe, they're canvas tops. I'm saving all the tree bark to put on top. bark is going to hold the moisture in and of course we don't want it on the boards itself that'll close rot so as it dries I'll peel it right off there hope this one's long enough uh, yep good I want to finish oh barely and we'll center it some I want to finish this now Oh, I need, need screws. Get this greenhouse done and get planting it today. It's the plan. Some more boards. One, two, three more. Actually, four. Four short and long. Then we'll put the top boards on. 
and then I can put in the uh, plastic sheeting and start filling. Now, let me take this off the tripod.